right. Alright, um... Ah, oh, but there is a chest to be had. And another chest to be had. Alright, so this part is where it gets sad. Kinda. Ish. You will hold Basra Vashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talvashal, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. How did I know this job would end in more Kunari? You speak as if ignorance is your natural condition. The bodies of his slain Karatom could lead only here. I do not know how you come to hold his leash, but you have no claim in the Kune. He will be returned and this crime cleansed. And if he doesn't want to go back? Cerebos, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> He has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. Oh, poor guy. I've met with your leader. The Arishok would not want a potential ally challenged in this way. Claiming to know the will of the Arishok with Sarabas in your care is Marasi Mikari, a child bleating without meaning. The Arishak knows what is to be done with Sarabas, who lose their Avarad. There is no greater threat to their control. My job was to get him out of the city. If he wants to go back to you, that's his business. You show an unusual ability to reason, Basra. Sarabas! Nera Kun Ebrakata Avarad! You are certain? <laughs> and we will do it here. Basvarad, you led well. I thank your intent. Panahedan, as you find the Kune. You should be honored by this action, Basra. It is his last. Maker! You were to take him back to the Kyun. He lost his lead. The risk of corruption was certain. But he has owned his death by honoring you. He knows the Kune once more. As will you. I actually took a different path with this one and actually tried to save him. But then he went and killed himself. <laughs> because he lost his master. You tried to kill me after everything we've been through. An uncollared Cerebos spoke to you. You were already exposed, but there's no way to know what demon may have written his words. Killing you is demanded, but the respect of Cerebos has granted honor. Be grateful. Not every neck earns the ceremonial cut. Ah, oh, yes, of course you have to fight these guys anyway. Oh, 
Oh, Anders! Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I should have seen that coming. I didn't think. Oh well. <laughs> Where the hell? There's so many freaking Kanari and they're so freaking huge! I'll go with this guy. He's probably gonna be easier yet. Much easier to kill. Oh my god, there's more! I didn't even see him come off! Oh, I am so observant as you can tell. away for nonsense determined from the start patrice set a trail if this was her doing i have a few questions for her yes don't we all oh great sorry maybe that's for fenris He's good for now. Wait, that way. Okay. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, we do want to go that way. Good. Good, good. Off we go. Uh, oh, good. I thought we'd run into somebody. Somebody bad. Leave nothing. It must be clean, with no ties. It... Well, my helpful associate from the streets. You took the canary from the city? Without incident? I think the incident was rather your idea. Mind your tongue, dwarf. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Your Katojan chose to go back and be killed rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. Ah, uh, which to say? I said, I said the first one, first time, but uh, I'll do the first one. <laughs> Why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug? You are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, 
Excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. We'll be hearing from that one again. Oh, you are too right, Fenris. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what else. Um First of all, wait, let me see how many coin how much coin I have. Oh, look at that! I am what? Like Wait, that's it's like thirty-four silver off. Oh my god. You know, I think I want to say something very similar happened um, with um, with my first playthrough. I was like, actually, though I think I was more like 18 silver off or something like that, something even less, which was really annoying. I was like, raw rage. But anyway, okay. Um, so I think I need to go to Gamlin's house. What the hell? <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong, um, wrong keys and whatnot. Okay. Um, 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 um. Well, Gamlin's house is right here, coincidentally. Because there's a letter, I think, that sh I should have gotten that will let me do the other one. This one should get Anders his uh, approval well, of. Your servant. There's a letter for you on the desk. That one. I haven't- I never did the bone pit one, and I probably won't do it now, <laughs> but okay, so for this act of mercy, Is someone gonna help me? That would be great. Thank you, Eric. Ah, <laughs> oh, and of course there's another one. Stupid dragon. I didn't want to get your attention. Um, oh, he's dead, okay. <laughs> I mean, not that it's fun to see that he's dead or anything, but you know, it's just... Uh. Anyway! <laughs> That's right, he just like roundhouse at you in the face. That's what you do with the dragons. You roundhouse them in the face. Uh, of course, there's nothing up here. Um, I wanna wonder if we need to go that way. I think we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably a good idea. Ah, yes, this is one where I can get some Anders approval. Now I remember what it is. It's Sir Thrask! 
Master Hawk. Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the Circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. <laughs> Who are you again? Well, I guess for you guys, I could do that. Do I know you? I am Sir Thrask of the Templars. I know from the compassion with which you treated Fainriel that you are someone who cares for the fate of apostate mages. What? You can't be nice yourself? You are no Templar. You cannot know what a badge of shame that would be. There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where do they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templar sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. Oh, and unfortunately they got sent to the worst circle in all of Thetis. <laughs> What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a focus to track the mage should he escape. Essentially, they use blood magic. Ha ha! That's, uh, you know, very interesting. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caras is a knight lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. We know who Meredith is, okay? So I'm not choosing that. If you've got this many mages escaping, you Templars aren't too good at your jobs. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Unfortunately, it's going to be a bloodbath anyway. Oops, sorry did I say that. You know, isn't that like the flag of Japan? You got the, the white background and the red dot in the middle. <laughs> Alright, oh, haha, see? I told you to get bloodbath. They must be truly desperate. Mages will always resort to the forbidden if they feel enough need. Please tell me we're not going to force these poor fools back into the circle. Of course not, Anders. You wouldn't like that. And, you know... <laughs> of course. Corpses, corpses, and more corpses. 